box, clock, stop. When Major Mike Engelhart decided to join the military and eventually box, become a pilot, it wasn't movies stop. like Top Gun that fueled him to fly, nor did his inspiration lie in the Air Force itself. Instead, it came from his grandfather. Growing up as a kid, uh, just watching my grandfather and his sense of pride in this country, uh, I, I can tell you, it didn't matter what the weather was, what the conditions were, every morning he was outside raising his flag and taking it down every night. At 91 years old, Henry J. Denicola has seen and experienced more than most, but the lasting imprint that he left on his grandson began when Denicola enlisted in the Army Air Corps in December of 1941. I heard President Roosevelt on that Sunday when I was washing pots and pans in a fraternity house at Cornell University, and I heard him, this day shall live in infamy. The Japanese that bombed Pearl Harbor. My buddy and I told the chef goodbye. About four days later, I signed up. For three years, Mr. Denicola served as a nose gunner aboard the B-24 Liberator. He flew 13 combat missions. We had a mission uh, from Samar, and uh, we were the fourth B-24 to take off from a landing strip uh, on Samar, a dirt strip. And the first plane took off, and the second plane took off, and the third plane took off, and made a right turn out and exploded. Just exploded. I could see it. Four of my best buddies were on that plane, they died. We got the signal to just take off. And we took off. Denicola says he'll never forget that day, but it's all the memories and the experience gained that have made him who he is. They are the cornerstone that built the foundation for his children and his grandchildren alike. I will tell them that you live in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America. There's no country like this. No, no other country in the world can match our country. And that they love it very deeply and sincerely and be ready to serve it if it calls for them. That's what I want my children to be. Here's one of them right here. As for Major Engelhart, introducing his own legacy to his grandfather, was an honor. Uh, seeing the pride he had in his eyes for, for what I do and for what all the airmen here at Hurlburt and the Air Force do, uh, you saw this, uh, just, just this, this spark in him. Two men, two generations apart, but as one family, they're building a legacy in their own right for our airmen past, present, and future. Airman First Class Stephen Ellis, Hurlburt Field, Florida.